Maggie Hassan joins us live on the phone right now. Governor, what are the biggest issues that you're seeing right now, and can you tell us about this stay put order that just came out? I'm sorry, the which order that just came the out? Stay put from the New Hampshire Homeland Security saying, you know, it may look like the snow has stopped, but the winds are pretty strong, and it'd just be better to stay home if you can. It. You're, absolutely. Um, and I, I just want to be clear with people that, in fact, while the snow has cleared, uh, we are expecting the winds to escalate and the temperatures to get colder. And we are still, when you talk with our DOT folks, uh, they're still seeing a lot of blowing snow and drifts out there. So they're going to continue to be out there trying to keep our roads clear. And to the degree people can stay off the roads, you're going to help them do that job just much, much better. So, and our, our state police are saying the same thing. They saw a fair amount of cars off the road uh, or in difficulty last night when people were still out. When people are off the roads, it is safer, and our DOT folks have a chance to clear. So, certainly stay put unless you really need to be out. Um, focus on making sure that your uh, vents are clear, your house is accessible. You're shoveling out nearby fire hydrants. We have an adopt a hydrant program up there, uh, and we're asking people to shovel them out, take a picture, uh, post it uh, on Facebook with your location, and tag HSEM, which is Homeland Security Emergency Management. Um, our other big concern right now are people's roofs, especially flat roofs. We've had a partial collapse in Portsmouth. We've had a collapse in Seabrook. Uh, we are grateful that there haven't been any injuries, uh, but we really uh, do want to make sure that we're attending to that. And so uh, people should really be paying attention to that. And also keeping their pets inside uh, and making sure that if they are one of the folks experiencing scattered outages because of, of the winds coming up, uh, that if you're using a generator, uh, please make sure it's well ventilated. And you bring up outages. So far, we've been, uh, I would say, rather lucky. We haven't seen that many. We've had a few dozen here or there. Did you feel like coming into this, we were ready to deal with any possible outages on a very windy day like this? Well, certainly the utility companies have been working with our Public Utilities Commission and bringing in crews to be on standby. Uh, so we uh, were in constant communication about that. We have been fortunate in that the snow has been light and fluffy. So we really, uh, to the extent we see outages later today because of the high winds, we are hopeful that they will be only scattered ones. But it does speak to the fact that uh, we hope folks have emergency kits and have been prepared. Uh, we also ask people to give a call to their friends and neighbors who might be older, might have difficulty clearing snow themselves. If you're out shoveling and you can help a neighbor who can't shovel, that's just a terrific thing to be doing, too. Um, this storm, it, it looks kind of calm right now, uh, but we are concerned that conditions are going to be different but still very serious and dangerous. So really, if people can stay in today and just focus on shoveling themselves out, their neighbors out, and hydrants out, uh, we'll all get through this one um, together. All right, Governor Maggie Hassan joining us on the phone. Thank you very much. Uh, her message today.